So we we're talking about bees, how the method of pollination without the involvement of organisms that's abiotic, then the, the other one biotic by animals and the percentage by which animals. And I said I'll show you what the effect would be if there were no bees and every other thing. Now the next thing, don't mind me, bees. I just they are just thin bees. Bees uh, make a lot of noise because they have wings, you don't need that. Only females bees think you don't need that. A hive of bees, they move a lot of distance before they produce before they produce uh, bees for us. And they live a very short time. You don't actually need that. You don't actually need that. Don't mind me. Now, role of bees in pollination. Bees are extremely, extremely important in food pollination of food crop. The more bees you have on your farm, the more yield you have, especially in your flowering period. Now, how do you attract bees to your farm? You can only attract bees to your farm if you don't use chemical, as in all these fertilizers, synthetic, all these things, they spray, all this blow. If you don't use them, you can attract bees to your farm. If you if you have water on your farm, they love coming, especially in dry season, they love coming to drink water. They're always plenty on my farm, especially in dry season, dry period, they're always there. Then the second one method of uh, attracting them to your farm is if you are not using fertilizer, MPK1. If you are not using, <coughs> excuse me, if you are not using synthetic, you are not using synthetic pesticide, you are not using synthetic herbicide, you are not destroying the environment. They are here. So these are the things. Bees are so important to our livelihood as they help to pollinate most of the crops we eat. And many that feed farm many that, uh, that feed farm livestock. Destruction of now the things that we've been doing to them will be destructing their natural habitat, intensive farming practices with chemicals and everything, then pests and disease. You see, another way by which you can attract bees to your farm is by having beehives of your farm. Especially if you have a plantation, just hang them on trees. Beehives, yes, just put them on trees and if you have water around, believe me, your yield will increase. <laughs> you see, <laughs> a lot of people, you know, you I'm sure you are wondering why I start doing reproduction in the first place and everything. These are things we don't know. The more chemical you spray, you are killing them. You kill them when you spray chemical, when you spray anything. But after this class, we begin going to pesticide. Pesticide and disease, then you understand what I'm saying better. Like I told you, everything is interwoven. See this graph and research, it has been shown that the more bees you have, the better yield you have on your farm. So natural areas breed bees. But if you keep using chemicals and everything, your yield will be reducing. Because one, it is the bees that do pollination for you that moves the yield. Uh, the female to the male that do combination for you without the bees it's the, you know if you are killing them it means you are reducing your production i wish many people understand this if you, the more bees you kill and you kill bees by using synthetic chemicals everything is kill them everything that affects us women kill them we you understand so if you don't want to kill them then you have to plant natural you have to go natural there's natural herbicide there's natural pesticide there's natural everything that you can use I'm going to do that. We're going to, I'm going to tell, put you through how to produce all those things or where to get them or how to source them or whatever before the end of this class. Honestly, there's a lot of things you can do without destroying the environment. Now you'll be wondering why, well, this is particularly in your own farm, particularly in your own farm. Now look at this picture. It looks somehow causes of bee declining, intensive farming practices monocropping, excessive use of agricultural chemicals, higher temperatures associated with climate change. I think I've discussed, we've discussed climate change in one of the classes there. Eh? And uh, during the discussion, I say, I explained why we're having climate change and how you can, you may be wondering, it's none of my business after everybody's doing that, but no, at your own particular place, at your own spot, if everybody individually is taking care of their own responsibility, which will in, in, uh, in advance give you more money, because if you do natural on your farm, your crop will be strong. They will resist all this climate change effect and everything. I will be able to help you earn more. But if you don't, and um, if you don't, and you you keep using synthetic and everything, your crop yield will decline. You'll be destroying the environment. You'll be wasting your money and every other thing. So you really need to consider whether you are going to be going natural or you are going to still continue in the synthetic if you really want to make profit from the farm. And that's why a lot of people keep spending year in year out and we're not making money. I told you, see what's the consequence of bee declining. You can see the group climate. It's, this is the same place. This is Netherlands in those days. This is what their crop, their, their, farm, their places are turning into. So they turn into flowers. That's why they grow a lot of flowers. You understand? It attracts bees and see the beautiful environment. See this one, you cannot plant anything there. Island Antarctica is deprived of bees too. There's no woman living there, as I read, you know. So these are more are a lot of things you need to do. You need to understand about bees, that they are very, very important to your crop. Now, let's talk about, okay. Now, before, let me explain this. I remember in 2000 and, um, 
2015 or 2014 i i i, I no 2015 or 16 i i created I, I created some greenhouse i went to one i went to um kefi to a training center in kefi and i saw and i saw the greenhouses they have there and uh, I was the crops were doing fine and beautiful and everything. But then, so when I got back to my place, eh, I decided to use local materials, as in I cut bamboo, I cut all the other things. I use them to produce my own greenhouse material. Greenhouse. I actually built a greenhouse. I didn't bring the picture here, maybe one of these days. So I built a greenhouse on my farm. When I built a greenhouse, I planted cucumber. The first, I planted cucumber. When I planted the cucumber, they were doing fine. You know, I, they were protected with nets. It's, I, my trainer later said this screen I was not green out. They were protected with nets and everything. And I was giving them water, irrigation, everything. I was following the head and they were doing fine. When it was time for them, when they start flowering, I don't know how to pollinate them. Honestly, I never thought about it. It never occurred to me that I need to pollinate them. I don't even know about pollination. Eh? So I called, uh, I called, I know about pollination, but it never occurred to me that how will I pollinate something in a greenhouse? Honestly, I don't know. I didn't know. It didn't occur to me until that point when they start flowering. Then I called my trainers in uh, Kaduna. I called, I said, ah, madam, uh, I, I plan, I use greenhouse to build, to create my cucumber. How do I pollinate? He said, use greenhouse i say yes she was surprised okay you are going to ant pollinate i shouted ant pollinate and pollination means i'll be taking you see you see the plant you see uh -huh. i'll be taking let me i'll show you now Thank you. 